I love you too. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, it was, it was Beasley, I think you, you were the one who announced me when I, when I, it was the night before um, I finally won it, and, and there was a section off the audience, one, two, three, four, and a little bit, so there's five, five syllables for my original last name, Bell Oberziski. And they had, they had a, they had, they were chanting it, I changed my last name, because the Ukrainian cowboy wasn't going over so well, so... I gotta tell you, I brought this out. I was in the Youth Talent Showdown for three years before I won it. And this is the award they gave me. It's the President's Trophy from 1992. And we're gonna leave here today and we're gonna put it in, in the time capsule that they're going to be sealing for the 100th anniversary of the Calgary Stampede. And, uh, big dreams that are represented um, in this in this room and, and they've, they've all come true. I I, uh, I always had wanted to use my music to, to make a difference in people's lives. I love to perform. Um, I love to do this for no other reason than I love to do it and that is the only secret to my success is that I do it because um, it's just what, what I was made to do and I, I just absolutely love it. Um, and you know I, I see all the faces that are here supporting the great talent here today and um, You'll, you'll, you'll probably never really truly understand how much it means to people who perform to have people that support them and encourage them and, uh, and tell them that they're doing a great job and are there when things don't go well and are there when things do go well. Um, so thank you all for being here. Uh, I had an incredible moment in my career. Um, I was living in Nashville, lived there for about a decade and I uh, came back to, uh, um, to visit home one time and it was one of those typical Alberta days um, in the springtime when the snow was falling and the big clumps of snow and I was sitting next to a fireplace a quick trip home and um, I remember thinking about all the things I love about Alberta and all of a sudden there was just this flood of ideas that started to come towards me and I used to um, I used to drive up at Christmas time with my wife Liz and, and we would come up and uh, we'd always get to this spot where we were getting really close to home there's this sign that we'd see and it was the sweetgrass sign and um, I played this song for the very first time in Williams Lake, British Columbia. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but I, um, I got up there and there was a grandstand kind of a feel like this. And there's one cowboy dead center right out in front. And I didn't see his eyes the whole night. He just was sitting there with his arms crossed. You could see his handlebar mustache out to here. And nothing I did impressed him. I, I tried everything, everything I learned from the Youth Talent Showdown when I was here um, to begin with. I, I, the first two years I was beat by jugglers, and I, I, <laughs> I... Are there any jugglers still in it? I hate jugglers. <laughs> These were the guys that were playing with me when I was here, and they're still doing this amazing job. <laughs> I'm out there pulling out all the stops, trying to get this cowboy to be impressed with what I was doing, and I get to the line. I've been Alberta bound for all my life, and I'll be Alberta bound until I die. And for the first time in the whole show, I see his beady little black eyes look up, and he nudges his wife, and he goes, "Yeah!" <laughs> and I figured either either this song's going to be a bigger hit than I thought it was going to be or that guy's from Alberta, one of the two. <laughs> and uh, now, every single night, I'm back here. We've, we've toured the world. We've been all over the place. Started out doing 190 shows a year and it all came about because of the youth talent, this, this youth talent showdown that it was at that time, the talent search. And, um, and, and the committee members, the judges, the volunteers, the people who give their time, they don't have to do that. They give their time to allow us to do what we're doing. And uh, I got my start here. Huge dreams come true on this stage. I'd love to do this song for you. Sunset, 40 miles to Canada, my truck tore across mountain. Ian Tyson sang a lonesome lullaby And so I cranked up the radio Cause there's just a little 
more to go before I cross the border at that sweet grass side. Woo!